today's video we're gonna restock and revamp the shop so there's things in there that's been in there a long time I'm gonna take them out and um, replace it with better stuff basically what I've done with eBay I'm gonna now do with the shop and just be like a lot more picky with what I'm picking up and what I'm selling in certain like areas so like whether it goes on eBay or in the shop or on whatnot um, so we're gonna take you along with us on that but while we're here I'll just give you a quick run through a little sneak peek of what I've got at car boot so I'm not gonna go through everything I'm just gonna show you what I've got so there you go that's what I've got <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, we've got like vintage TVs vintage uh, rugs um, it was cheap, so I got it. Um, don't know if it was so. Um, Callaway golf bag. I think I paid five quid for that. It's a bit like I don't know what that is. It, you can't don't feel with nothing. Maybe just the colour has gone from it. But for five, eh? um, loads of sewing machines. I think there's seven there. So I've got seven sewing machines and that vintage TV for ninety quid. You can get the odd sewing machine that will that will be ninety quid. I doubt one of them is that, but I'm just telling you, right? God, um, this here, that's my old Hoover at home, which I never use because I'm a dirty boy. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a different Hoover which I use, and that is just sat there doing nothing, so I might as well sell it. Um, some bread makers, slushy makers. Oh, that was slick. Slick. I forgot how you did it. So uh, no, you did it perfect. Yeah, I, I thought I did. Yeah. Um, we got these. These were a pun. So <laughs> they are vintage um, original seats for I believe a 1976 or a 1967. Sh I can't pronounce this word. Chev Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Yeah love apparently i paid 30 quid it wasn't budging on price they've got a look to them i don't know i'm just gonna try it apparently the person who sold them to me he said there's only two of them cars in the uk but i can put them on gsp um they fold down so you can post them um but 30 quid i just took a punt on that and um we also got in there that's just full of smalls but that'll be for another day if it's at the top i'll show you one of the my favorite boys but it might not be at the top that sort of like gives me back to the future vibes it's not you might be out of luck here yeah? Oh no, here we go. Look at them. That's different. I don't know if they're genuine, but they feel like really good quality. And uh, they could be worth something. But that's enough of that. So let's show you a little bit of what's going to the uh, shop. So some of this was from Car Boot yesterday. Today's Monday, by the way. Um, so I believe these are duck decoys, but if they're not, they're still nice decor. And uh, I've sold these in the past, not these exact ones, but similar items. Like duck decoys in general go for like, I don't know, 30, 40 quid, but you can get some that are worth a lot of money. But I paid four pound for the pair, I think. I can't remember. But still, that'll look nice on someone's shelf. Not my shelf, but someone's. Got this cool little cabinet. Paid, I think, four quid again for that. Just the little jewelry box. These here. So, this is trench art. Now, you can sell these on eBay, but when they look like that, it will get removed off eBay. 
So eBay's rules are they have to completely not look like um, showcasing. Yeah, showcasing anymore. So it needs to be like cut up or I don't know. So I've had some removed. So now I just don't bother because they sell in the shop anyway. And then good old Jesus, have you really come back? <laughs> Doing in the shop. I was gonna keep that and pull it, pull it on the wall here, but I thought I'd pull it in the shop. Five quid I paid for that. Probably put 30 quid in the shop. Got a nice John Lennon mirror. Can't see the mirrors very well on camera. And then we got that mirror. These actually yeah, sell like on those. eBay for 30 or 40 quid. And then we got that one there. So these be going in the shop, price cheap to sell. There's John Lennon one, I might put a, uh, a bigger number on that. And then we've just got some cool pieces going in. So again, I won't show you it all, but once it's all set up in the shop, we'll obviously give you a better run for it. There's like article cabinets, there's all sorts in there. So we're gonna get this loaded, then we're gonna go to the shop. We're gonna pull out all the stuff that we don't want in the shop anymore and replace it with the good stuff. So we forgot to film a little before, but so this was full of CDs. We've already took a load down. We decided we're not going to sell CDs in no more. They're too slow of a seller. We're going to take these bookshelves out and any little knickknacks that don't sell and just replace it with better stuff, more high end stuff. So we'll give you a quick tour of what it looks like now and then we'll show you again once we've uh, revamped it a little. So have a little look around my Trico. So we finished with revamp, we've got rid of loads of stuff that's been here for a long time, replaced it with new stuff, tidied up, price reductions, and wow, it's transformed it. So just have a little look around, a bit spotted everywhere, looks very nice, if I do say so myself. Not as good as you though mate. I know that, but you know it is, and there's John Lennon mirror up there. So there's loads of new stuff here, loads. And it's all been reorganized so it's more visible. And uh, there's some nice little gems in it. Price, very cheap as well. So come on down, lovely. Just been down to a secret location to get my cardboard stash. So hopefully you found that video interesting. And uh, don't forget, like, comment and subscribe. Check out down in the description below for any links, including my whatnot. I'll be doing pretty regular shows on whatnot. More and more as time goes on and as the following grows. So make sure you go down below, click that link, get yourself a free £10 spend on whatnot.